what's going on everyone so guys today i'm going to show you guys how you can transfer your steam games to a different hard drive what we're going to do is first identify which hard drive you want to install all your games on technically i'll say we're doing a move then we'll let steam do a re-index of the library so first and foremost guys you want to identify which hard drive you want your games to be on. I have this uh, one terabyte solid state drive that all of my games are going to go on here because my two terabyte USB hard drive is having some speed issues. My goal is to basically migrate all of my data here. Fast forward, I already did that. Originally, I had all, you know, my Steam games here because I just wanted to, you know, test to make sure this is working, which it is. So, basically, I, I had moved my games to a different solid state drive. And now, I'm going to just repeat the process. But, yeah, I'm going to show you guys <laughs> what I did. So, you'll open up Steam software and you'll select Steam at the top left. Um, you may not be able to see it because of the camera uh, is in a way. But on your top left. This should be Steam. You want to select Settings. All right, so once you go to Settings, now what you want to do is select Downloads, okay? Now from Downloads, you're going to select Content Libraries. In order to select that, you're going to click on Steam Library Folders, and this is going to open up your library folder. So as you guys can see, I currently have all my Steam uh, downloads, games, on this particular uh, drive. You, for you guys, it's going to be C program files x86 slash C. That's the default uh, location. From your default drive, uh, basically, you just want to know exactly where your load. Your, uh, basically, guys, here you just want to make note okay, this is where my Steam games are located. All right. So once you documented that, what you want to do is exit Steam, okay? Because you don't want Steam to interfere with any of our process. So you're going to open up that location of where Steam is located, which is here, all right? And you're going to open up an additional window of where you want your Steam to go. I'll double click, all right? So now we're in Program Files. That's Program Files. That's Steam. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right-click and select Copy. Okay, and I'm gonna select paste here. But one thing I just want to know, guys, be sure that your new drive has enough disk space because commonly you're looking at a hundred something gigs. Okay, be sure that you utilize a solid state drive because that will shorten um, the time frame of copying it. So, again, right click, copy, select paste in a new drive. And we'll let that copy on over all right and wonderful thing about using solid state drives we're copying what's that 80 almost 90 gigs it's saying about 40 minutes but that's just the beginning it's just the beginning process it's much quicker you know afterwards already I mean I, I got up from my chair twice just to grab these boxes and it's already at 25 seconds. <laughs> That's because we're copying data, 80 gigs from a solid state drive to another solid state drive. I'm telling you, you gotta love it. Because if we actually utilize, if we were copying data from a USB drive to a hard drive, okay, it, 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 I can see some time there. Especially if we're copying USB to USB drive, oh my goodness. Woo, we're looking at some time there. No matter if it's 3.0, 2.0, golly, we're looking at some time. But um, yeah, man, this is this is wonderful. This particular drive here, it says up to 500 megabytes per second, and this particular drive right here, the G drive, it says up to 563, 530, right. So, you know, when it comes to gaming, guys, 
it's highly important that you actually make note of how much the read and write is. It's because um, many games that you do play, it's a lot of reading. Um, your hard drive is doing a lot of reading, and then some games, like where there's a lot of saving going on, a lot of modifications to uh, user uh, save profile, that's a lot of writing. Uh, so you want to keep an eye out for that. And the easy way to do it is basically launch a game. If you have dual screens, this is beneficial for you guys. If you have dual screen, you can just basically do what I did. Right click on the task bar, uh, select task manager, select performance. After you select performance, select the actual disk drive that you want to monitor. And you can just basically scoot this on over to the other monitor screen since you have dual monitors you could be able to do that and you can launch a game and what you want to look at is keep an eye out for uh, your read and write what I found out is that originally when I had my steam on my F drive which this is the F drive here all right so last night I originally had my steam games on this F drive and what I noticed with the F drive it was only like 10 megabytes per second, 4, 5, 15 megabytes per second. I wasn't seeing any hundreds. Hundreds. I wasn't seeing that. So there was a lot of latency. And it highly affects me in, I wouldn't say GTA because it's not that noticeable. Because GTA, GTA, even online, it's, it's somewhat vanilla. But if you play 5M, it will definitely, you'll definitely see it. Like if you're playing 5M and you're kind of driving through a city and you get that quick game freeze and you still hear stuff, but it's frozen and you're like, oh crap, my game's about to crash. And then to make, you know, progress more. You know, stuff that's really fast packed, the stuff that has like a large environment, uh, especially free roam games, you want to have your game on a solid state drive. All right, let's proceed to our next step. So we have Steam, guys. We got Steam here on the G drive, okay? So now what we wanna do is, we're not gonna delete this. We're actually gonna let Windows do its own job and delete it. Press the Windows key, and we're gonna type programs for my keyboard, programs, and that's gonna come up. See, I just typed P-R-O, and now we have add and remove programs. So again, we have Steam closed out, okay? So what we're gonna do is uninstall Steam, because this is basically going to remove it from the folder as well as just gonna remove uh, any entry in the registry uh, that basically points Steam to this file location. All right, so apologize, my uh, uninstall keeps popping the you know, on our other monitor. I'm gonna uninstall from it my P partition for you guys that will be C. So select uninstall. It's a quick process, and the installs will be a quick process too because we got Steam here. So trust me, guys, it's gonna be real quick. You guys ain't gonna, you guys ain't gonna lose nothing, man. You're not gonna lose nothing. Like I have American Truck Racing here with a lot of uh, mods. Not gonna lose any save games, nothing of that nature. All right. As you guys can see, Steam is gone from this folder, and also you know my american truck racing desktop icon that's gone too now what you want to do is you want to download steam okay and what i want to do is i'm going to save the scene setup file in the actual new partition so i'm gonna right click save link as i'm looking for my there it goes g for gaming all right so we're just gonna open we're just gonna save that there for right now all right so now that's downloaded and now we can open i'm gonna bring this back over here yes again it's going to my dual monitor close that all right, so now we're just going to basically install Steam, but we're going to install Steam on our new partition. All right, so as you can see, by default, Steam wants to install on the C partition. No, we don't want to do that. We want to install on, the, on our gaming partition. For me, I have G. All right, so now it's pointing to G partition. All right. Just do that so you guys can see. G partition, program files, x86, and then it's gonna go into the Steam folder. And that's the same thing that matches up here. G partition, program files, x86, Steam partition. Steam folder, correction, install. 
we're gonna select run steam and we'll need to log back in now we got steam reopen uh, what we could do is just verify that you know steam sees our new drive with the games so we're gonna go to top left select steam select settings all right so select downloads select steam library folders and from here as you can see G partition program files steam folder and it says we have four games installed with roughly uh, we're using 50 gigs of space all right so now what I want to do is for the games I want to right click and add a desktop shortcut and bam that ladies and gentlemen that's how you get the job done all right guys so we got the game to launch let's just hit continue let it go through its sign-in process of the game one thing I forgot to do is change the uh, setting so it's it's basically saying that hey we don't see your stand wheel let me just exit out of that for right now um i need to adjust my there we go make this full screen apply and yes okay exit out of there and just to kind of show you guys that the game is in a fully functional state i'm not gonna drive because i don't have the steering wheel connected and of course i could switch it to keyboard and or my uh controller here but i don't want it to you know potentially lose my uh settings but yeah guys this is it this is it game is fully working on that note guys don't forget to like comment and subscribe to this channel because we got more tips for you guys and this show run much smoother much quicker because we're basically now utilizing a solid state drive instead of a USB hard drive and I'm still going to use that for data like you know videos and stuff of that nature but gaming nah videos we're good anyway guys I'm out don't forget to subscribe don't forget to subscribe